uh, my name is Renat Künzi. I'm a journalist um, from Switzerland. I'm working with um, Swissinfo.ch that is uh, similar to the Deutsche Welle in Germany and the BBC in Great Britain. We're a public broadcaster, fully independent, um, that say really not related and biased to the state. And um, our mission or my mission um, is as responsible for the topic of um, direct democracy in Switzerland um, is to um, present the international audience um, the model of direct democracy in Switzerland, how it works, what's, what are the good points, what are the weak points. Of course, um, Swiss democracy is far from perfect. But um, it is, um, I think, it's the most um, developed direct democracy in the world. And uh, when you um, have a look at the numbers of people's votes on a national level, then Switzerland is uh, worldwide number one. Um, and as a journalist, I try to explain or to write in our storytelling uh, about direct democracy um, in a very simple way. So um, I try to um, write about people who um, do um, special things such as collecting signatures, who are um, activists for uh, many years to reach their goals to convince others to give their signatures and then uh, go through the whole process. And um, I think this is the best way to explain um, the functions, the mechanics, the, the methods. And um, also, um, I think in Switzerland, direct democracy is more than a political system. It's a political culture and it's a mindset that um, every citizen that uh, wants to be active, uh, wants to participate, um, it means that um, he uh, understands, he knows uh, his position in uh, the political debate. And what I think is most important in a direct democracy, it's the competence to um, see the free space where you can act as a citizen. This, I think this is, uh, this is uh, one of the crucial points. And um, it's not enough just to, um, when there is a decision um, by the government or by the parliament, um, a new law, um, it's not enough to just say, well, um, I don't like this a new law, I'm against it. But then um, say, okay, do what you do. Um, I'm disgusted. I don't want to know anything anymore about politics. But that um, you start reflecting where and how can I act as a citizen? Um, what political rights do I have to um, um, present my proposal, my vision? of a, uh, a politics of um, direct democracy and um, this is a, a very very um, uh, interesting you know um, um, it's 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 like a puzzle and the mindset of the people the citizen i think this is the crucial point that uh, they are uh, empowered they have the knowledge, the know-how, um, what's there, what is the toolbox I can open and use, and um, uh, how do I have to communicate to get support, to find others, uh, to build up an organization, to launch a people's initiative, or to uh, launch a referendum to fight a law that has been adopted by the parliament. 
Um, these are the very interesting things in the Swiss model of direct democracy, of this uh, well-developed uh, model. And so the people, of course, the citizens are, as Barack Obama said, the most important office in democracy is citizens. And uh, I try to show this in our daily work to uh, write about um, special people. Um, uh, one of our most successful <laughs> and uh, at the same time most funny story is about a very, very um, small village in the Swiss Alps in the canton of Graubünden, which is a very lovely region. And um, up there in the mountains, they, uh, the process to take a decision about um, to install public lights, a public light in the village, it took 40 years. So, <laughs> of course, this is not a model <laughs> of the uh, slowness of uh, Swiss direct democracy, but it shows um, true um, direct democracy based on um, citizens and um, debates, deliberation. It takes time. Um, it takes a lot of time in Switzerland um, from the start, from the launch of a people's initiative until to the vote at the ballot. Um, it takes um, up to three or four years. It can be um, quicker, but um, the average is about two, three years or some uh, take more. And, um, but the result of this vote it's uh, in a way it's 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 uh, an informed the people um, the citizens are able to take an informed decision and um, of course in a direct democracy you can contest any decision at the next time at the next day but um, this um, the the slowness and the um, the careful uh, process of um, deliberation, of um, uh, taking opinions, making up your mind and, and then um, take a decision. Um, the result is a, um, a good, a well-informed decision and um, it uh, contributes to really a high, a very high political stability uh, of the of Switzerland this is without uh, direct democracy stability and, and almost everything high quality of infrastructure um, very high level of um, education of research and science everything is based on well-informed um, citizens um, decisions and um, I think this is this is one of the strength uh, st strengths of uh, Swiss direct democracy there are also very weak points um, I can mention um, some um, this is uh, one of the weak point is um, inclusion uh, 25% of the 8.5 million citizens in Switzerland are non-Swiss citizens. They are excluded from the votes. They ha don't have any political rights on national level. There are some municipalities who allow them to vote on the municipal level, but not on the national level, so they are excluded. They pay taxes, uh, they pay everything, and um, also the young people, they are, um, don't uh, take part uh, a lot in the political direct democratic process because uh, topics, the language of the politicians, the, the media where the debates take place, it's 
mostly in Switzerland the traditional media such as um, television, radio and um, newspapers and um, they are not included or very at, at the very uh, in the in the votes um, the participation of the age group um, of between um, 18 and 25 is half of the other age group so this is really um, a weak point that politicians the politics public debate doesn't reach the youth as an audience and financial transparency is a very weak point no legal um, no legal um, um, regulations in Switzerland so um, in a way um, Korean, North Korean dictator, he could um, finance uh, a Swiss party um, for the next, next elections. Um, nobody would be able to contest this, um, which is uh, a contradiction to the confidence. The direct democracy is based on confidence, so uh, uh, this is a huge contradiction. This uh, black box about um, political financing of the uh, parties and the campaigns and um, it's also um, in the field of inclusion it's also it was a, it still is a huge problem that women are um, uh, very under um, represented in the um, in the in the governing bodies such as um, uh, the, the government and the parliament on national and on um, regional level. Um, this is also a consequence of the introduction of the right to vote for women that was only adopted by the Swiss men in 1971. So for more than 120 years of um, Swiss democracy women were excluded and now they are um, slowly, slowly um, um, taking, you know, their position, but um, very slowly. And um, what is also considered as a weak point uh, by, uh, more or less by um, international international surveys or ranking, is the low participation in the national votes and uh, elections. Um, um, it's about um, between uh, 45 and 50 percent. But there we have to be a bit fair because um, we have um, four times a year national votes. So this is um, a regular thing. Every three months uh, citizens are called to vote on people's initiatives and referendums. So this is a, a, a bit a common thing in Switzerland. And now we, we have a kind of a, um, a deal that it seems it's like a deal that those who don't go, they are more or less, they are happy with the results of the votes and if there's a people's initiative, if there's a topic where they really are interested, then they go. But maybe uh, once in four or five years or something like that. And um, at this point, I can, to, to finish, I can um, maybe um, give you an idea of the, what it means to be an active citizen in Switzerland. Um, research shows that um, in a lifetime of an active citizen in Switzerland uh, you take part in 4,000 votes or elections and elections and this is because there are three levels of state in Switzerland it's the national state the federal state it's the regional states such as the, the, the federal states in the US and it's the municipalities and each has its tasks and each offers to the citizens uh, the people's rights, uh, the people's initiative and the referendum. That's why um, it means 
in Switzerland to be an active citizen, it can be something, it means work. Of course, I'm very, very, very happy and delighted that next year's Global Forum on Modern Direct Democracy will be in Bern, in my town where I was born, in where I live, or I live very close, where I work, where um, my home is, where I feel at home, close to the Swiss mountains, the beautiful Swiss mountains. Um, and um, I would very, very um, uh, much be delighted to see you um, in the September of 2020 in Bern and to tell you more about uh, the uh, special, very special, not very easy, but very special system of uh, Swiss direct democracy and to discuss with you and about your visions of democracy and um, of course to show you around.